I'm scared to inform you that my heart is falling Forgive me if I don't call you back Boy, I'm just stalling First night that you took me out I knew I was all in First night that you took me out I knew I was all in I'm scared to inform you that my heart is falling Forgive me if I don't call you back Boy, I'm just stalling First night that you took me out I knew I was all Forgive me if I don't call you back Don't, don't call you back if I don't call you back, don't, don't call you back. Forgive me if I don't call you back, don't, don't call you back. If I don't call you back, don't, don't call you back. You're the one to blame. I've never felt the same. On, on, on this left crusade, don't. As you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. I've already primed my face using the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base, and this is really good smells so nice it smells like it smells very citrusy like lemons or zesty stuff and then i'm going to um go over that with the smashbox primer water because i want my face to be quite dewy oh so refreshing Whew. so as this makeup tutorial is going to be what i class as my go-to makeup look i'm literally just popping into Bromley so I don't need some big old heavy duty face. So for foundation, I will be using the Studio Fix Fluid in C5. And I'm just gonna put a couple of pumps on my hand. And then I'm gonna grab my Real Techniques damp sponge and we're just gonna start buffing that into the skin. The reason why I use C5 is because I used to use the NC44 and I feel like that was fine in the um, summer because I feel like on my skin tone it makes me look a bit more orangey, a bit more tan looking. So for the C5 I find is like more neutral so it doesn't, it doesn't go orangey looking, doesn't oxidise, it stays, you know, looking more neutral so it's better for my skin tone and I don't look orange because I don't like that look I don't like looking like some tangerine and I've also primed my lips with um, the MAC prep and prime lip balm because my lips are hella dry right now they're always fucking dry it's nothing new to be honest so for concealer, I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW25. No, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. So for concealer, I like to use NW25 under my eyes, but I can't find my um, concealer. So I'm going to be using the Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC in NW20. It's just slightly lighter, but if I use less... Um, it should be okay. So we're just gonna dot that where I usually put it. Okay, so now we're just gonna blend that out. Again, using the Real Techniques damp sponge. I'm just gonna bring that concealer over my um, eyelid. Okay, so to set that, I'm gonna be using this powder, the RCMA translucent powder it's brilliant it's just as good as the higher end brand one so you might as well just use this get this one so i'm just going to press that in not too much i'm not trying to bake out here I'm just gonna set the rest of my face using the um, Studio Fix Perfecting Powder in medium dark. And we're just gonna put that everywhere where we didn't put the RCMA powder. This is just gonna help us be able to blend out the um, powders. So we're gonna use the same powder in dark deep and we're just gonna use this to bronze up the face. to contour my face i'm using half-hearted by makeup geek 
So I'm using the MAC 188 brush to contour with. And again, just literally, I'm doing the top of my ear at a slight angle towards my mouth, but I don't bring it all the way toward, towards my mouth. Then you wanna blend that up. Always blend it up, never blend it down. Cause then you're just gonna make your face look wider. So I'm just grabbing the eyeshadow texture from MAC and I'm using my MAC 224 brush. And we're just gonna literally dump that in the crease. Literally pile that in the crease just to give our crease a bit of definition. Now my go-to look is always a wing liner. It's very rare that you'll catch me without one. I'm always, I always have a wing liner. It's just my thing, unless I'm doing a look where obviously I don't have a wing liner. So we're gonna swap this brush for my MAC 217 brush, which is slightly smaller. And I'm just gonna grab a bit of um, Swiss chocolate from MAC. And I'm just gonna put that more in the crease, just a little bit, cause I don't obviously wanna do nothing major on my eyelid. Again, remember, buff it out. Even if you're using one or two eyeshadows, always make sure whatever you put on your eyes is buffed out. So I'm gonna go back in with my 224 brush from MAC and buff that out. And voila, our eyeshadow is done. Now I'm just gonna put on a wing liner and my lashes and then I will be back to finish off the look. There you go. So my, um, Wing liner's done, I have on false lashes. For my wing liner, I use the Maybelline um, gel liner and I've got on the MAC 48 lashes. So now I'm just gonna add on my favorite blusher, as you already know, is be um, Peaches from MAC. <sighs> and I'm gonna be using the 137 brush, only because I only want a little bit of um, blush. I just start from the back, just there. Just to add a little colour to my face. Okay, so that's blush art done. Might just add a little bit more. Now for highlight, I'm gonna be using my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the colour Beaming Blush. And this is this looks like a um, like a pinky kind of colour, but it comes out gold. I'm gonna grab my other two two four brush. I'm just gonna put this on with Outfix Plus because I don't want it to be you know so peak. Because I'm I'm literally going to bomb me. I don't want to be looking like I've got some beat face. But I just want a little subtle glow. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit down the center of my nose. Maybe a little bit on the tip. Oh my God, my belly is rumbling. I haven't eaten nothing yet and it's like the afternoon. Wait a minute, is that my lash? Looking like it's lifted up. Yes. We just have to fix that. That is just like, no. Be right back. Sorry, I just had a lash crisis. I don't know what happened, but the corner of my lash just started like saying hello. So I had to go and sort that out. For lips, I am going to go in for a nude and I'm gonna be using the MAC Lip Pencil in the color Spice. And I'm just gonna um, line my lips with that. This is like, so boring for you to watch, I know. Forgive me if I don't, forgive me if I don't, 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 don't,
Okay, so I like to just fill my all my lip with that. And then I'm going to be using my MAC Velvet Teddy Lick. <laughs> lick? I went to say liquid, but it's not. It's my, um, just a regular Velvet Teddy matte lipstick. And then you just go over, over that really. And literally guys, that is my go-to makeup look. Simple as fuck. Literally two eyeshadows on the lids, a wing liner, lashes, a nude waterline, bit of mascara on the bottom lashes, little bit of blusher, and slight bronze and contour with a nude lip. And that's it. We're good to go, good to go. So that was my little makeup tutorial for my go-to makeup look. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have missed me because I've missed you. I'm so glad to be back. I will be filming more tutorials on a regular because I am only working weekends. So guys, please subscribe if you like my videos. You don't have to, but if you like my videos and you want to be notified when I've uploaded, then subscribe, join the family. And um, I will leave all my other social media platforms in the description box. I will leave all the products that I've used in the description box and the brushes because obviously I have a bad habit of not showing you lot the brushes and I'm so sorry. I do feel like I do tell you the brushes though. Do I? I feel like I do. And so I shall see you in my next video.